this beautiful I almost said Sunday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. I mean, who knows? It might be Sunday somewhere around the world. You know me. I never know what day of the week it is or, or you know, what month we are in. Sometimes I don't even know what year we are in. So today we are going to be playing around and we are going to be making up these beautiful um, little bells for this. And I'm just going to lift one up to show you. I should have bought a necklace on, but I just can't find my silver chain. So we're going to be making these beautiful little pendants. I do really love them because they're very easy to make. Probably it will take you, I, I, I guess, about um, 10 minutes to make one up. And then um, we, I think we've been a bit naughty because we have given you the option to choose them separately. And then we got a mega bundle with 12 colors in there. So you can, um, so you can make one of each color. So you got one to match anything in your wardrobe. Right. So good morning, Brenda. Nice to see you here. Um, how is everybody else doing? Um, do let me know how's the weather where you are. It's so nice and sunny here. And um, <laughs> Leanne is just coming around. <laughs> She's nicking one of my <laughs> posted notes. Um, how's the weather where you are? Um, I think we are in for a, a nice a nice day again. Uh, we might have to go for a cheeky walk at lunchtime. We did go last, last Wednesday and it was just so hot out there down at the seafront. It was a, a tiny little breeze, but it was just perfect it was just beautiful right okay so without any further ado i am going to turn you down i'm going to turn you down i'm going to show you all these beautiful samples um for you to have a look there's so many different colors i just couldn't stop myself we have these baroque pendants and i'm just i'm just in love with them Right, I'm going to turn you down first. Let's have a look at our demands. Oh, they're a bit out of line, so I'm going to move them in. So we got so many different colors, and there's only like a tiny bit of material you need for it. So there's hardly anything what you're going to be using. I've got 13 colors here. And then, there we go. You can see them all. I've got 13 colors here and just look how sparkly they are. They just move a little bit and they're just so, so sparkly. Um, it's just giving a little bit of an intricate sort of design at the top, an intricate bell for a pendant, which otherwise, well, we could connect it with a jump ring quite easily. But I think doing something a little bit decorative on the top, it just makes it really nice. And let me just put the right color next to the right color. It just really makes it like much more, like much more richer. So I'm very quickly going to say hello. Then I'm going to pop you over to the website. And then um, we're going to start making. We've got plenty of time because, as I said, 10 minutes and you're going to be having one made. So good morning, Brenda, Elaine, good morning, Sharon, good morning. She says, a hot and sunny day in Spain. Oh, Sharon, I'm so jealous. How Whereabouts in Spain you are, one, two, has the weather <laughs> and and I'm, I'm hoping that you buy a swimming pool or by the sea and um, good morning um, Camille saying nice and sunny here hope you are well I am good thank you Bridget good morning um, beautiful day in Preston she's saying good morning Debbie um, beautiful sunshine I'm ironing while it's watching oh bless you. it's not not the best thing to do ironing when it's nice and hot outside but um, the jobs, unfortunately, has to be done. But then again, jobs can wait. <laughs> How's work can wait? Um, good morning, Celia. Sunny in Bolton as well. So it looks like sunny pretty much all over the UK. Morning, Lucy. Jackie, good morning. Um, as you're saying, beautiful day here in Clacton, which is just next door to, next door to us, I guess. Um, beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful weather here. Um, and I'm hoping he's staying for a few days. Good morning, Sue. Uh, she says it's going to be, it looks like it's going to be a fab day here. Um, Caroline, good morning. Oh, you got COVID. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm wishing you well. Sending you big kisses and hugs, but virtual ones. <laughs> virtual kisses and hugs. Good morning, Jitty. Good morning, Karen in Manchester is saying it's sunny. Good morning, Mina. Joyce here. Any good morning? This is saying these look pretty. I love them. I really, really love them. Um, 
I really love creating them. It's just something, something little fun. Um, Facebook user, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Any sun in your shire too? Do, do, do. Good morning. Sharon, good morning. It's, well, oh no, Sharon, she's relaxing by the pool. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> we all want to head there. <laughs> well, then can you go book a plane? <laughs> yep, we all go. We yep. all go. Brenda's here as well. So Brenda said she's coming as well. So I hope you I hope you got room for us. Janice uh, Janice is saying sunny in Swansea, even wearing a dress usually in trousers. Yes, I put a dress on this morning and you know like that's when I know when it's summer because I usually wear either trousers or leggings or jeans or like you know like like that and and this morning i was like hmm i'm fancy to put in a dress on so there you go summer is here morning from a very cr warm cornwall jenny's saying good morning hot in leicester mina is saying john saying good morning wow that's sparkly in the midlands it's sunny and warm um yeah it is 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 i think it's gonna be warm and sunny all throughout the uk right okay so shall we i'm gonna walk to the website quickly i'm gonna pop you over to the website and then we're gonna go down and start making so i'm gonna share my screen by now you know the drill so you're gonna go totallybeads.co.uk and then you got two options you either click on this big video tutorials button here on the top right corner or you go into categories and you can find video tutor tu tutorials there as well. Now, over the last more than two years now, we got hundreds and hundreds of tutorials going back. Do check them out. We got many different techniques. You can search tutorials by date, by kind, by technique. We got other shorter form tutorials as well on there. You can search um sort of projects by by bead as well so if you've got a particular bead at home you want to use up you can go ahead and just do that so i'm going to go into today's which is the broad pendant and here's our choices we got amber aqua ice cobalt blue crystal ab dusty pink emerald jet black light amber lilac tangerine purple velvet red ruby and royal sapphire so to make one it's going to be 199 however <laughs> however to make 12 it's going to be 14.99 so i'm not very good at first thing in the morning the math in my head but um doing maths but um that works out like one pound and ten twelve maybe one pound twelve p something like that so yeah uh they maybe third one one pound thirteen p so for one pendant it's it's really really good value and you get twelve in there um all packaged in uh different bags and you can just go ahead and make them i match the seed beads and the pearls to the crystals i have played around them i got a couple of them this is which is didn't make the cut and i show you like you know when i make them i might sort of experiment with other colors as well and um i always choose the best one I always keep on going until i find the best one to suit right okay so back to the mat and we're gonna start making i'm not even sure what color we got so much time because it's not gonna take us long to make so what color shall we demo with i am not gonna do a snail race but i want you to kind i'm gonna point out the colors and when you say when you see a color what you like just say i don't know dusty pink if it's the dusty pink you like so um yeah so i, I don't know or maybe like leanne can keep an eye on it or somebody um <laughs> guess you got so many colors right i'm gonna do the i'm gonna show you oh leanne broke the app from his one pound and 24p each right so it's not 112 or 13 one pound 24 each you know i'm i'm rubbish with the uh, math first thing in the morning but one pound twenty four each. I think they are really good value for to make, especially if you make to sell. Right, let's actually start how they on the website. So the first one on the website is the amber. Now some of the pendants are sort of see through, and can you see some of them will have a finish on the on the back or the front, whichever way you want to wear it, which makes it more sparkly. So you can wear it more plain, and you can see <laughs> my fingerprints on there because I put some nail in, nail oil on. Um, so you can wear it more clearer or you can wear it with a sparkly side to the front as well. So that's amber. That's the first one. Then we have, let me just pull this down so I can put them out nicely and easily. Then we got aqua ice, which is this one. This beautiful. I love this color. This is like a turquoise um, color and 
again one side this has got the a beautiful ab finish on it and the other side is sort of more plain so you can wear it either way next one is the cobalt blue which is this beauty here i went for i i i was like a little bit um again we've got one side which has got ab finish the other side is like sort of more of a plain side i had played around with this quite a bit because I really wanted to match the pearls to get something out from the, the crystal itself but I didn't want it to be sort of miles away and um, there is another blue as well which I'll show you in a, in a minute and originally I was going to put these pearls I'm, I'm just going to bring you up originally I was going to put those pearls with this beautiful pendant and then this pearl with this one and then I put it down on the mat and started playing with it they just worked out perfectly the other way around. So this is cobalt blue. Next one is the crystal AB. AB finish on one side, clear on the other side with white pearls and silver lined clear seed beads, dusty pink. I love this one. So dusty pink is using like sort of a salmon seed beads. Again, AB finish on one side, clear on the other side. And I, um, I just love this. I can't remember what the name of these pearls but um, I just love these pearls. I use them in, a, in such a beautiful rosy pink and those pearls, I love using them all the time. So emerald, is, which is your tealy color. Again, AB on one side, I love this one. I could wear this all the time. This is very much like the blue and, and sort of the emerald is very much my color. Jet black, so we had to have a black one. Actually, I'm wearing black today, I should put this on. Again, AB finish on one side, so you could finish, you could use it this way, or you could do use it this way. Next one is the light amber, which is using this beautiful lemon chiffon pearls with some gold seed beads. Again, one side and the other side. One side is AB. Next one is the tangerine. So I not normally do oranges, and and then I was thinking. We really need to do more sort of orangey, tangerine colors for the summer because I think it's so wonderful to be able to wear like I am very much wearing like navies and blacks and blues and teals, but in the summer it's just so nice to wear something really bright because then it's when you're wearing it kind of make you smile all day. So I, the pendant itself, the little baroque pendant itself is more of like a salmon color, but I think it goes so well. With the tangerine pearls and the, um, the seed beads as well so purple velvet is the next one beautiful oh I'm, i missed the lilac up we will back up for the lilac just in a second again purple velvet purple purple on one side a b on the other side depending of how you want to wear it i love love that that tanzanite color seed beads i use it all the time and with the purple velvet pearls so backing up to the lilac that's on the website before the tanger the pink tangerine um just a bit beautiful lilac -y color and there we go very very i love i love this color as well and red ruby so we got a red one as well again a b on one side so the more clear on the other side depending on how you want to wear it and last but not least we got the royal sapphire um one again plated on one side with a b and clear on the other side so that is our line up for today so i'm very quickly i'm just gonna go back oh how, how, how am i gonna know this <laughs> this is saying pink um green um these look fun which is saying aqua light amber with silver Hi everyone, I'm late again all day and we have we just only starting so not to worry aqua ice please. So I think we've got a couple for the aqua now. Um aqua ice, Joanne is saying good morning Sheila, I hope you're doing well. A beautiful day where you are, Aqua. Brenda is saying so I think we're gonna have to do the aqua. Um good morning from bright and sunny Perth. Um Joanne is saying cobalt crystal A B. Camille is saying, morning, um, Elaine, lemon chiffon, tangerine. Camille, you can't choose more than one color. It just has to be one color. But I think the aqua, this aqua is um, is what people are saying the most. They are all nice. Yeah. Actually, we might have time to make a couple of them because they're quite a quick mix. Right. Okay. I'm going to get the... Um, 
Oh, Minnie's saying, bundle fallen into my basket. Oh, bless you. They will be really good because Mina is doing like all sorts of uh, um, different little craft fairs and bits and pieces. And you can make it from one pound 24, so you can't really go wrong with it. Um, you, you can definitely get quite a few pounds for this one, depending on where you're saying it. This is saying, yep, great value. Right, okay, so I'm just going to get the pearls and... Uh, seed beads out and then we're gonna get started making right and I need the four mil as well there we go so we only need one six millimeter pro I'm gonna move these beauties out we only need one six millimeter pro and we're gonna need six three millimeter pearls and just like a few seed beads that's all we need nothing else i'm gonna grab some thread i'm gonna thread my needle and we're gonna get started i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more i think you could you could like if you had a couple of packs you could turn them into earrings as well but brenda, brenda was just saying it next yeah. to me i'm not sure if you heard it but she said like they would look great as earrings as well Definitely, 100%. I would properly add a little loop. Ooh, there's a couple of different things you could do if you were doing it as an earring. You probably wouldn't have to turn it into as a bell, so you would only have to do one. You know, but you do because you have to link it on there. You could even do like a, a um, add a little sort of stud just like that and then a stud could be sort of coming in the middle there if that makes sense so it would be covered up and that's what you sort of would see in your in your ear that would that would look really good as well right okay so let's get started i'm just going to put this pearls to the side so you really can see what i'm making so i'm going to start by picking up three of my size 11 seed beads and i'm going to take all three down I am going to come through all three of them again and I'm going to pull it up nice and tight and then I'm going to come through the first two one more time so I'm in position to add further beads because I want the tail right at the bottom and by coming actually as well coming through the first two again what I'm able to do I'm able to pull this really nice and tight and it's going to create like a little triangle of three beads can i zoom in a little bit more there we go so as i'm coming out of this bead here i am going to go ahead and i'm going to pick up one seed bead one four millimeter pearl and another seed bead and i'm exiting at the top as i'm holding this i'm going to come from the bottom and pull this through just like that and now I'm going to take my thread to the seed bead and the pearl I'm going to turn this around to be in position to add the next lot of beads so one seed bead through the pearl and then I'm going to pick up one seed bead one four millimeter pearl oh it's rolling away on my mat come back another seed bead a six millimeter pearl another seed bead four millimeter pearl and another seed bead and as i'm exiting again at the top of this pearl I'm going to come from the bottom just make sure i'm going to pull this nice and tight i'm going to come from the bottom and go through it so my next loop i have increased in the middle the size of the pearl now i'm going to go and leave my thread up i'm going to go through the seed bead pearl seed bead pearl because i want to come out on the this side of the six meter pearl so usually i like to flip flop and change my I like to always work on the right hand side so I'm just gonna change flip it about and through the pearl now the pearl the six millimeter pearl is our highest point 
in our bail here. So now I'm going to come, uh, I'm not going to add any more 6 millimeter pearls. I'm going to add my 3 millimeter pearls. So the pattern I need to pick up is seed bead, pearl, 4 millimeter pearl, seed bead, 4 millimeter pearl, another seed bead, another 4 millimeter pearl, and the seed bead at the end. So I started with a seed bead and I finished with a seed bead as well. And again, as I'm exiting at the top, I'm going to come from the bottom and then going to go through this pearl again. Good morning, Linda. From Marblehead, Massachusetts. What time is there? You have to let us know, Linda, what time is there? I'm so fascinated about all the time zones. I never know like what time or what time of the day or what day or what week or what month, what year we are in. But I'm so fascinated like people from all over the world can join in and watch us. So again, I'm going to go to the seed bead pearl, seed bead pearl, because I want to get to the furthest point away. I'm just going to turn it around. And through that. Oh, Brenda, we got a message here for you. Elaine is saying, Kitty, can you pass the message on, please? Just finished the Vugo bead bracelet. Love doing it. So thank you, Brenda, for the tutorial. You're very welcome. Oh, she says you're very welcome. We were talking about this the other day. We need yeah. to get Brenda to do yeah. in something else. See, yeah, she's going to do another one. You need yeah. to get her to do another one. Right, so <laughs> I'm coming out of this pearl here. I'm going to pick up three seed beads. I'm coming out of the top, so I'm going to come from the bottom, and I'm going to go through that pearl. And then I'm going to get to the middle of that seed bead, so I'm going to go... I'm going to Continue my thread path in the next two seed beads. And now I'm going to pick up two seed beads. One, two. Again, because I flipped around, I'm exiting at the top. So I'm going to come to the bottom for this seed bead. Just that one single bead, seed bead and pull it up tight. So now we have got the same on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and add the pendant on it. Then we're going to fill some missing beads in on the side. So I'm going to go through the next bead here. Just one. Oh, and I just got a knot, a naughty knot on my thread. I just undo that quickly. So when you need to undo a knot, then I am going to go ahead and stick one needle in from one side and then undo it, stick another needle from the other side <laughs> and um, undo this. And there we go. There we go. And just pull it. And there we go. And pull it apart nice and easily. It's easier to pull a knot apart with two needles than one needle. Camille is saying coffee. I actually haven't got coffee. I got coke this morning. I had a coffee already, but I will have one in a bit. Right, so as I'm coming out, I'm going to pick up one seed bead. I'm going to go through the hole on my pendant and pick up another seed bead. I'm going to take these down. There you go. And I'm going to fold my bail over. So as you can see, I am coming out of the right hand side here. So I really need to go on the right hand side on the bottom as well. So I'm coming out on the, not the end where my tail is, on the other end. So I'm going to have to go in on the other side where my, not, not, where my tail is not present, sort of next door to it, the bead next door to it. I think I'm going to take another sip of my Coke. So, from here, as I'm going to go through, I'm just going to pull this. And as I'm pulling this up, the bail itself is just going to sort of buckle over our little pendant here. So, what we need to do now, and I'm going to hold on to, I'm just can't cut the bobbin off. And I'm going to hold on to my tail going to wrap it around my finger here so I, I won't let the thread travel backwards all this tight so what we're going to do now 
is we're going to fill the gaps on the sides here because as we were doing this right angle weave can you see like where the hole is on the pearl we have got a gap there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill those gaps in with seed beads because i don't really want to see the hole on the pearl i want it i want to cover up with a seed bead and have like sort of a bit of a mystery what what sort of thread path we take and how it's all kind of come together so as i'm coming out of this seed bead here we only went through one seed bead I'm going to pick up one and I'm going to go through the next one on the side, the one before the pearl. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up another seed bead and I'm going to go through the next seed bead on the side and not just the seed bead this time but the seed bead pearl seed bead. There we go. So the seed bead and the pearl and the next seed bead. That's why I need to go through. And I'm gonna pull this through. I'm gonna pick up another seed bead. I'm gonna go through, I'm turning it kind of like around. I'm going over the other side. I'm right at the top at the moment. Next seed bead, pearl seed bead. Pulling this through. I'm pulling this back tight. And then I'm going to pick up another seed bead. I'm going to go through the one, just a single seed bead in front of me. And finally, I'm going to pick up another seed bead. And this time I'm going to go through the single seed bead, like the, the, the next seed bead here and the single seed bead at the bottom as well. So I'm going to go to two seed beads and then through the hole on the clasp of the same clasp. I think my brain is going. <laughs> and it's only Wednesday. Through the beautiful pendant. We're going to go through the hole on the beautiful pendant. Come is saying coffee. Yes, I know. I should have actually had a coffee. I'll make one right after. I'm going to come up through the single seed bead and I'm going to turn to the direction where my tail is and go through that seed bead as well. So I'm going through two seed beads. There we go. Then I'm going to pick up a single seed bead. Go to the next single seed bead here. Just the one before the pearl. I'm going to pick up another seed bead. Go to the next seed bead, pearl, seed bead. Pull this up nice and tight. Picking up a single seed bead, coming down a seed bead, pearl seed bead. Picking up another single seed bead, coming through the next one. Another single seed bead. And finally I'm going to come through these two at the bottom and through the hole on the pendant again. So overall, we, we've been through the whole of the pendant like three times. So we have got a very nice and good connection. So now what I want to do, I'm going to go through a single seed bead and I want to go through a single seed bead, which is leading me towards my tail. So I'm just going to go through this one bead and then uh, quite simply, I am going to knot my tail end and my working thread together and just pull the threads in in a couple of beads here or there. So that's one, and then two. If you really wanted to, you could like sort of run around one more time before you knot it. Any thread path you have created, you can take your needle through. I'm just going to take it to the top here, cut this end off. And I'm going to add a needle to my tail. Needle to my tail. Just grab another needle. And then work that one off as well into one of the other beads. So this one, I went up on one side. With that one, I'm going to take this on the other side. Just sort of, they're not all filling up the same beads. 
there we go and then to the pearl and seed bead just right to the top pull it nice and tight and then I'm ready to trim my thread and that's it we have got a beautiful little pendant and it didn't really take us long did anybody time it actually did anybody time it oh thank you very much for the star charlotte it's really really appreciated there are no tins of cokes in the emoji so it was a mcdonald's coke oh i see oh why i haven't got why they haven't got a, a can of coke oh what do you want there maybe we should write to emoji headquarters and demand to have <laughs> demand to have a emoji with a can of coke or sprite or other drinks available as well as they say joy saying beautiful thank you and Charlie saying lovely so very pretty so i'm just going to bring some of these other colors back and just to show you again they're one ninety nine. You can buy them singly. Oh, that's the same as that one. One ninety nine. You can buy them singly, or for you can buy twelve all together for fourteen ninety nine. So that's uh, one pound twenty four. Liam worked it out for us each, and because we got so many different colors in there, there's thirteen colors available on the website. So they're just gonna pick for the bundle. They're just gonna pick the twelve which we have the most. Um, and there we go and let me just move this over so they're just gonna pick the 12 which we have the most and i just i love them i really really loved um creating them because you adding a little intricate detail something a little bit interesting on the top of the pendant and then it's kind of like becomes handmade um i just love it roughly 15 minutes so there you go and I was, I, I was talking so if you speed up you could probably do it in 10 minutes and um, you could have beautiful pendants and and when you make to sell something like this which only costing you one pound 24 and only taking you 10 minutes to make it you you you, you do the math <laughs> she was saying I didn't time it but it was a very quick make sometimes it's so great so nice to have a very quick make good morning Sylvia from South australia what time is it there i really want to know um that's sort of that we had massachusetts on this side and now we're going to australia on the other side have to let me know sylvia what time is there where you are so natalie's going to be with you on friday i'm going to be with you tonight on kitty robinson designs so if you're fancy what am i doing tonight leon have you got the beads there Right, so we're going to be playing and she just she just um, adding the beads in. So this is tonight. Um, last week we played with those beautiful bicones and actually I think I'm going to do, like we started off with the Pixies, Big Sister, and I think I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do it as a kit. I'm going to work it out and do it as a kit because it just looks really good. So tonight, and Lucy actually just popped uh, um, the Bing link in for the Pro Pendant Kit. So do have a uh, look at that one. Um, tonight, um, I'm going to be playing with this. I'm just going to pop this out with this hematite coin beads. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to probably try out uh, two or three different stitches, different bits, what we can do with it. Uh, these are perfect for embroidery um, might even try a little embroidery with it because this is this is the stuff where they are flat they are beads we can actually stitch it down we don't need to glue it and then we can bead around it and because they're relatively small we can just make a beautiful pattern so this is what i'm going to be playing tonight on creation station on my channel which is kitty robinson designs so if you do have time please join in or even if you just want to come and watch, it's from 7 p.m. UK time. And then we're just going to be playing, I don't know, for an hour or so. Depends. Sometimes you do an hour, sometimes do a little bit longer. But we're going to be playing with this beautiful... We, we're going to be designing together. And that's the whole point uh, for Creation Station. That um, we just sit there and um, we bounce off each other's ideas. And I think that's so important in beadwork because... I say I want to put two beads on and you say maybe try three and then we try three and actually it does work. Oh, Sylvie's saying 7 p.m. where she is. 
so um that's tonight natalie is going to be with you on friday i will be back with you next wednesday i think is my is it next wednesday i'm back there i don't know i know actually it's gonna be a very special one because next wednesday is my birthday but i'm not gonna tell you how old i am i'm too old now you don't you stop counting I, i've been told you stop counting the numbers after 40 so i'm not allowed to not allowed to count it but um that's uh Next Wednesday is going to be fab. A wide flat netted bracelet. Yeah, we could do something like that as well. I think with this one tonight, I'm really quite excited because they do like, um, they would be, um, first I thought they will be kind of sitting all sorts of way because they obviously flat and the hole is in the middle. But actually, if it's on your bracelet, you can't really sort of swivel around, can it? So we might, we might be good. We might be good with those ones. So that's tonight. Right. Have a check out. Have a check out for the kits today on the website. I am um, I'm not sure how much stock we have. I know some of the colors we didn't have a lot of stock. Some of the colors we had more. So bees do check it out, and um, and so you get the color what you really want, and it doesn't doesn't go out of stock. But once a couple of colors go out of stock, the whole bundle is going to be going out of stock. Because we don't, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be doubling up on colors. Um, so there you go. Macaron bracelets, absolutely. But we will, we will, we will talk about this tonight. We'll have a good old play tonight with these beautiful beads. Right, everybody, have a beautiful day. And thank you, thank you for turning up. Like you know, this is the thing. Like you, as long as you keep turning up and watching me, I'm, I will be keep turning up, and I will be more than happy. I'm so. I'm so happy and I'm so grateful for every single one of you. Um, I think we got a really lovely community here with with, with beautiful beaders. So, okay. Um, I'll see you tonight if, you, if you're there. Otherwise, I will see you next Wednesday, 10 a.m. here on Total Beads. Everybody have a beautiful week and have a beautiful weekend. Hoping, finger crossed, that's cross fingers, the battery is going to hold out. And... Um, maybe we could have a barbecue on the beach even um maybe have a have a have a have a, have a think <laughs> bye everybody have a beautiful week see you later bye bye bye